Hello everyone, my name is Yoon Ho Han and I am a student at Gungmin University in South Korea. Today, I would like to present working control framework on uneven terrain using variable stiffness soil. First, I would like to introduce the motivation for this study. The stiff flat soil is ideal for flat terrain, such as a level terrain, but the stiff soil has various problems on uneven terrain as shown in the animation for the stiff soil. On the other hand, the soil of soft material like rubber or sponge is often attached to the parameter soils to increase friction and absorbance or impact on the ground. However, there are problems when the soil stiffness is significantly low. Consequently, the soils of most robots have high stiffness, so they generally cannot add to large obstacles. In order to overcome the challenges caused by the stiffness of the soil, there were studies applying the granular jammy effect to the soil of the robot. The soil mechanism using a vacuum pump and granular jammy effect provides robust support for the robot and can add to the irregularity of the ground by changing the stiffness of the soil. However, there are very few cases in which the mechanism was applied to a real humanoid robot in the robot world. Therefore, we proposed a working framework integrated with a system change, the stiffness of the full soul for staple working on uneven terrain. So considering the problems of the existing jamming back soil, we developed a soil based on the granular jamming effect that can be mounted on real humanoid robot. To maintain a constant shape, a hexagonal shape silicon membrane was considered and it was manufactured by silicon molding. The basis is mechanically mounted to the robot frame and reliably connected to the pneumatic system. The basis provides two main functions, compliant mode and stiff mode. The proposed working control framework comprises the working pattern generator, working stabilization controller, and the basis controller. In the working control framework, the basis controller changes the stiffness of the basis based on FT sensors and the quality domain working pattern scheme. The basis controller allows the full robustly support the robot while adapting to the shape of the uneven train. The algorithm of the basis controller is as follows. When the foot goes from the swing phase to the support phase, the basis in compliant mode can be immediately adapted to the shape of the ground. Then at the support phase, the mode of the basis is changed to the stiff mode, and the basis mode continuously sucks the air inside the basis through the vacuum pump. Consequently, the basis can robustly support the robot during the support page. When the support page ends and the page of the foot goes from support page to sync page, the mode of the basis is changing to compliant mode again. Then the basis mode starts the suction of the vacuum pump and opens the solenoid valve to ventilate to inside. We verify the proposed working control framework using the basis with the real humanoid robot locally equipped with the basis model. In the first experiment, locally with a stiff robot pad store where the basis were in place on an obstacle and the experimental results were compared. When locally step on the obstacle with the stiff robot pad store, locally were on the obstacle and then fell down. Since the robot stepped on the unknown obstacle at unexpected time, the life will bounce off due to the large reaction force from the obstacle. Consequently, the jump could not move on life and the robot fell over. On the other hand, local theory with the braces were stable even after stepping on the obstacle. P 
because the basis in the compliant mode was different to fit the shape of the obstacle. The force applied to the right foot decreased, then the rubber pedal served to the different basis. Hence, the reaction force caused by contact with the obstacle was reduced, and the rubber was not bounced. After any, the basis of the right foot was changed to stiff mode and supported the rubber rubber strip with wide support polygon during the support page. Therefore, the actual GMP during working could trick the GMP reference well, and the change in the angle of the IM level was small. We conducted the second experiment to verify the performance of the proposed framework in arbitral obstacles. The experimental environment consisted of randomly placed obstacles 15 to 20 mm high of various shapes. When Rook 3 stepped on rollable cylinder shaped obstacle, the basis adhered to its shape through compliant mode and held the obstacle robustly by stiff mode during the support page. Also, Rook 3 stepped on multiple obstacles of different height, but the orientation of feet was almost horizontal because the basis of the teeth to the various shapes of the obstacle. Thank you for listening.